Welcome back to the channel guys, today I'll be looking at the Sabrent Rocket NVMe 4.0 M.2 SSD and that is quite the mouthful and this will be the 1TB offering that I'll be showing off today. Now if you're into high speed storage this could be a drive that may interest you especially with the newly released PCI Express 4.0 standard. This drive does take advantage of that so this could be the edge you've been looking for. Now looking at the drive itself it does come pretty well packaged and in a somewhat of a shock absorbent plastic case so this will minimize the chances of this getting damaged in transit and more than likely will arrive um, working and um, when you open the case you do get a, a full color installation guide as well which is quite rare to see is usually black and white only and this will give um, um, specific instructions for people that are not too familiar with installing this type of drive again comes very well packaged in rather and, and foam as well so no chance of it dead on arrival looking at the drive itself it has a nice color scheme black and copper this is something that's not very important but it's nice to see that Sabrent have taken the time to put a bit of artwork to good use and um, more than likely you'll have this this uh, hard drive covered over with a heatsink because they do tend to get quite warm in operation because um, it is running at very very high speeds and if you're into um, if you have a PCI Express 4.0 um, system you could get up to five giga five gigabytes per second of write speed which is pretty insane so I'm using the gigabyte Z390 Aorus Master which means unfortunately I'm limited to PCI Express 3.0 but this drive still pick, um, packs quite a punch even at PCI Express 3.0 I'll go over the speeds in one moment but one thing I want to point out is my motherboard comes with a built-in heatsink and this is important because the drive does get quite warm at high speeds and it will throttle unless you keep it cool so you can get this drive with a dedicated heatsink which will cost a little bit more of course or you can buy the heatsink separately for people that need it so again looking at my motherboard with it installed um, let's see what this thing can do but before I do that I'm just gonna have a quick glance over the specs so you guys can be a bit more familiar with what this thing can actually do just a quick look at the manufacturer's website before I go any further so you can see a quick look at the actual specs of the unit itself. In terms of storage you can expect up to 2 terabytes from 500 gigabytes of storage which is uh, decent especially with the speed that this thing is offering. Now in terms of read and write speed this is where um, things get pretty interesting with the recent release of PCI Express 4.0 you can expect speeds up to 5000 megabytes per second now which is unprecedented and read speeds up to 4400 megabytes per second again which is um, getting into new territory here and um, if you're using PCI Express 3.0 like myself you can expect 3500 megabytes per second of read and 3300 megabytes per second of write again um, pretty decent performance and blistering fast far outstripping standard solid state drives that usually come from 500 up to 550 megabytes per second so the manufacturer's website boasts a read speed of 3500 megabytes per second and a write speed of 3300 megabytes per second now we have ways of testing that out and seeing if those figures are accurate i want to be using crystal mark 5.5 to run a benchmark to test at performance figures and see if they uh, measure up so I'll be leaving this to run so you guys can see it's a genuine test and then I'll come back with the results at the end. So as you can see here the manufacturer wasn't bluffing when they said they had a 3500 megabytes per second read um, which is obviously being rounded up and uh, 3300 megabytes per second write even exceeding it slightly so that was accurate and this is in comparison to a regular SSD um, 560 megabytes per second read and 511 megabytes per second write so you know the, the gulf in class is clearly evident here so let's get into some comparisons when it comes to loading times in gaming shall we that's it for benchmarks let's move on to something a bit more interesting so this is going to show you the practical use of having a fast drive when it comes to gaming and the main benefit is just seeing a reduce a reduction should i say in loading time so you'll wait 
a lot less with um, a faster hard drive. So what I'll be doing is I'll be using the Sabrent Rocket NVMe versus standard mechanical hard drive that runs about 7200 RPM. Should just show you the clear difference in performance um, when it comes to loading time. So what I've done is I've loaded one game with each hard drive from the exact same point. What I'm going to do is start the timer as soon as one game finishes loading and stop the timer as soon as the second game finishes loading and just count the difference in seconds that you've saved. So I'll start with The Witcher 3. And uh, for those who are interested, I'm using Cyberlink Power Director. Uh, this is the editing software I use mainly, um, but I do use Adobe Premiere as well. But uh, let's just see the difference when it comes to The Witcher 3. And I'll start the timer now and I'll stop the timer as soon as the second game loads as well. So the Sabrent Rocket and VME, the clear winner, of course, it's uh, considerably faster than the standard mechanical hard drive. And uh, let's just see how much faster. So almost 20 seconds faster. Actually, indeed, it was 20 seconds faster, which is pretty outstanding. So yeah, a clear difference there. So you, you'd have your games load a lot quicker um, so this was just one example of course um, let's see what it does in a different game so the next game that I'm going to be doing the same thing in is uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Origins so again I'll start the timer as soon as the first game loads and I'll start the timer as soon as the second game loads and we'll see the difference okay so that's one I doubt it would be a bigger difference as The Witcher 3. The Witcher 3 does have quite extended loading times, but so does this game. So we'll see um, the difference and how much time you save. So 15 seconds there, which isn't bad at all. Five seconds less than The Witcher 3. But again, um, imagine the time you'll save over a 60 hour campaign on the game. So you've got to think about it like that. You're going to be saving yourself a whole lot of time. And there are some games where it's to a benefit, especially if you're playing player versus player games like Ark Survival Evolved, spawning in, spawning in all the assets, you'll have a faster hard drive, this will help get you back and possibly um, get an advantage there. So I was a little late um, starting that timer, but uh, no worries, um, let's try and compensate a little bit. So another one, this one's about 16 seconds difference there. So as you can see, you save about 15 to 20 seconds from having a, a hard drive like this when it comes to gaming, when it comes to loading time. So um, it's decent, um, decent increase in performance there and definitely a benefit that'll be welcome from people that just hate loading screens like myself. So um, that's pretty much it. That's a look at the Sabrent Rocket NVMe PCI Express 4.0 M.2 SSD, such a mouthful, but um, this is only some of the performance of this drive, of course. Maybe if I get a PCI Express 4.0 platform in the future, I'll revisit this, but um, it's definitely something worth looking into if you love having fast um, storage um, space on your PC, and it definitely does have its advantages, so hopefully you guys all enjoyed the video. Just want to thank uh, Sabrent for sending me out the hard drive. I did enjoy testing it, and uh, I don't know, I'll be happy to see what it can do at its full potential. So, got some Amazon links in the description. So, if anyone's interested in the drive, just head on down to the description box, and you'll be off to purchase it from there. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next video. And as always, thanks for watching.